Okay, so we've come to the so good batter mix. This is an all-purpose batter, really. Um, you can do mushrooms in it, but I'm going to show you how to do fish today. So it's a one to two part ratio, so one part flour and two parts of water. And we just whisk that together till it's nicely combined and lump free. You can see it's quite a nice thick batter so it will cling to the fish well. Okay, so the batter is ready now. We're going to fry some hake. I've got some baby hake fillets here. Please just make sure that your fish is dry when you're going to, to do this. Otherwise the batter is going to slip off. You can either pat it dry with some paper towel or just put it in some plain flour or some of this flour. So just coat the fish evenly on both sides. Just let the excess drip off and then just into the fryer. Let's just repeat that again. Another piece. So our fish is done now. You can see what a lovely crisp batter it's become. So we just have to finish it off. So I've got a little lemon here. I just want to finish off the last touches on it. I'm just zigzagging cutting right down to the middle. And then when that's done, all you have to do is open it up and you have a little nice rose as your garnish. And then we've got some chips here. What's fish, battered fish without chips? And of course our favorite six gun grill, chip sprinkle. A little bit more just for the extra salt. And there we have fish and chips. Our roast potatoes are done. And you can see how nice and crispy they are and how nice and yellow they look. Like real old fashioned potatoes, ready to be served.